We're now going to send it back out to the field, this time to our buddy Mark Schaefer and his crew at Low Country Weekly. They're going to fill us in in this edition of the Out and About Report. Mark? All right, thanks a lot. Well, we're here at the 11th Street Docks in Port Royal for a very, very special uh, uh, situation. The El Galeon, a 17th century reproduction of a Spanish galleon, is here to help ring in the 450th anniversary of the Santa Helena uh, township that was formed just over, just over here, where Paris Island is today, and to ring in the grand opening of the Santa Helena Foundation. To learn more about the ship and what they're doing here, we talked to project manager Fernando Villota. Tell me a little bit about how this project came together. This is this is an international uh, initiative, right? Yeah. So uh, we are a non-profit foundation from Spain, and one of our goals is to share all of the maritime history around the world. So this project uh, started in 2004 with uh, our sister ship, the Now Victoria. Uh, this uh, giving the name of the, our foundation, Fundación Now Victoria. Mm -hmm. uh, the replica of the first ship who was sailing around the world in Magellan and Sebastian Alcano. Mm -hmm. This tell me a little bit about this ship. This is this is really an impressive <laughs> vessel. So this is a, a replica of a 16th century Spanish galleon. So galleon is mean that it's a cargo ship. So after Columbus discovered America with the caravels and the naus, uh, they started to build this kind of ship that was a cargo and was longer and it was carried with a lot of gold, silver and other metals and also with passengers who was coming to the new lands mm -hmm. and started a new life. So that's was I think we all associate Spanish galleons with gold and treasure. Yeah. To some degree. But this is this is uh, a, a terrific uh, uh, presence here in Port Royal because it's been about 450 years since there was a galleon in Port Royal. Right. Now, right? right. So the the history said that the Pedro Menendez de Aviles uh, started a trip from Spain. Uh, he went to San Agustin in, in one galleon like this one called the Galleon San Pelayo. And after San Agustin, he came and founded the city of Santa Elena. So we are, now we are coming from San Agustin, so we are recreating the same history that Pedro Menendez. In, in honor of the uh, opening of the, four, the, uh, the Santa Elena Foundation Historic Center, which is right at the alley. What is this, this thing? The dimensions are, what is the length and the weight of this part? We are 170 feet long. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we are 120 feet uh, high. And you have a 10 foot draft, right? Right. So that's, that's a pretty shallow draft yeah. for a boat this size. Yeah. What does it feel like out in the open ocean? So it's moving a lot, so it's rocking like 25 degrees in both sides. Mm -hmm. And they were, why is that? Is uh, because uh, back in the days, this kind of, as a cargo ship that was going to the, by the rivers, and downloading all of the uh, cargo in the river, so it have to be very shallow. Okay, and it's open to the public, just a, a $10 ticket, five for kids, and they're all enjoying it. Yeah, right. so here you can, we have uh, five decks to visit, where you can learn how was the life on board, how was the, uh, the pirates' attacks, and also you can see the canal, the sterling wheel. And you can ask to the crew members how it's feeling to sail in the, in the ship. All right, thanks very much. You're welcome. All right, don't miss it. It's here until May 1st. And as always, pick up a copy of Low Country Weekly free on the streets and online at lowcountryweekly.com. Back to you.